We're gonna do an anterior glide of the hip. So you need a towel. Um, you can stack a couple towels. It should be pretty thick though. So the lower your towel range, the, the lower your thigh is toward, in relationship to the table, you're not really creating a, a space for you to really be at a mechanical advantage for that joint mode. So if you're not quite getting it or your patient doesn't feel that pressure or that stretch in the front, it might be because your towel height isn't, isn't large enough. Um, I prefer a towel roll, so that might be something where you get a large towel and roll it up. It, it's a little bit more comfortable. You're going to have your patient flex their knee. If they can help you, just have them lift their leg up, and you're going to put it at the distal end of their femur. Okay? We don't want it too high because, again, we're trying to create a gap into that anterior portion of their hip so that as we push the femur down, we're creating a glide of that capsule in the front. This leg can just rest. You don't have to work at it, okay? So just make sure that this part of your body isn't really doing much. Then you're gonna come in. Use the table to support your body, okay? If you're way out here, you're gonna have to do a lot of work versus in nice and tight to the table. Now the table helps me and I don't have to do as much work. You're gonna use your body weight to take up the slack first. So if I try to mope here, I'm probably not even getting through the soft tissue to get into the joint at all. So I wouldn't even consider that a grade one because I'm just mobilizing the tissue. So for me, I'm gonna lean into it just a little bit so that then I feel I've taken up the slack of the tissue and then I'm gonna come down and perform my joint mobilization. A couple of key things. If your patient is really tight right, and they have really a lot of tension in their hamstrings, they might feel pressure underneath your hand, which you don't want. So you might have to alter that. You might have to let them relax onto you where you can come down and in, where there's not a lot of tension into their musculature that way. You're gonna lose a little bit of your leverage, but you might need that to adapt to their body. The other thing that might be happening is that as you come, you're pushing really through that distal lateral or proximal lateral aspect. And so you're pushing into their soft tissue on their lateral, posterior lateral aspect of their thigh. So you might need to come down just a smidge out of that gluteal fold and then come down and through because now you've taken up more of the soft tissue and it's a lot easier on your patient and they're gonna report a little bit more comfort. Okay. So just to summarize, we really want to be in gluteal fold, so you're going to come high up into gluteal fold, take up the slack through the weight of your body, then perform your joint mobilization. Always check in and then alter your, your mobilization based on patient comfort and what's going to be best for them.